I didn't think that I would ever be able to afford even a car worth 5 lakhs when I was growing up. Alhamdulillah from my base being formed I think with films like Rocket Singh, Begum Jaan, Ishik Zadeh to being a part of Big Boss, the actual format of the show it was Pratik Sahajpal and I, 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 I think he's my winner. I think bestseller is one of its kind. I don't think uh, there's been a uh, you know show like this which is like the perfect balance. My uncle the character is not so much you know. Uh, uh, there are a lot of variety in it. There are a lot of different angles. There are a lot of equations with every character. Ke Actually, Mithunda doesn't even know whether it's his digital debut or not because he's like, I've done so many 300 films. If you say that, then it's my debut. Hai. My best childhood memory. I think my time with my family, not I can't pinpoint to one single memory but anything to do with my dad right now has become my favourite memory because I lost my dad last year so I cry very often, I cry at the smallest of things Hi Gohar, I'm Nenika, your host for today, welcome to Pinkwila Hi, thank you, thank you so much How are you doing today Gohar? I'm uh, good, I'm good, thank you So, um, we're taking the interview next uh, you know, next of Valentine's Day, so first question has to be about it. How was your Valentine's Day? What special did you do? It was simple. I had lunch with my best friend, which we always do every year. I think for the last 10 years we've done that. Uh, and I we had a good dinner with Zed and some of our close friends, yeah. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, it was fun. Alright, so Gohar, a bestseller is all set to release. I saw the trailer. It looks very, very exciting. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a great show and people will love watching it. Amazon is an amazing platform and uh, the kind of stuff that they release is always you know, something that the audience looks up to. So, bestseller will, I'm sure, will be a visual bestseller for them as well. Right. Uh, so, um, as we read in the synopsis as well, that it is going to change the way that we read novels. It's going to change the way we approach a story, you know. Uh, it's going to be on a visual medium and literally like we are reading the chapters of a novel. Uh, do you feel the same? Yes, I think uh, the way it has been uh, executed uh, and written, uh, I mean I would say it full time, the way it has been written and executed uh, kind of gives you that uh, feeling that you're actually reading a book because every chapter you'll be like, oh wow, okay, there it gets concluded and then you'll go into the next chapter and you're like, Oh, but what happened to that? So, you know, there are these certain levels of intrigue, certain levels of surprise, shock, all of those that you will experience that probably you do when you're reading a book as well. Right. Uh, so, what was the part that actually got you hooked to the script? Or what was that that made you, jump, you know, be a part of this project? I was, uh, you know, almost uh, asked to be a part of this project right at the beginning when I don't think most of the people were even cast. So Siddharth Malhotra had spoken to our casting agent Kavish and they both decided that, you know, I can play Mayanka. And uh, Siddharth called me uh, during the first phase of the lockdown when we had just about gotten into the lockdown phase and I think around April or May he called me and he said that, you know, I really want you to play Mayanka. And we are just writing the episode, so as and when we keep writing it, we'll keep sending it to you. So you tell me what you think about it. So I actually started reading it and I read it like a book itself, you know, how you read a script. Right. I was just like, you know, I want to read more, where's the next chapter? So then I would be like, Siddharth, when are you writing the next episode? And he would be like, draft uh, So that's how I got pulled into it because I just couldn't stop reading it. And I was like, my uncle, the character is so you know, there are a lot of variety in it. There are a lot of different angles, there are a lot of equations with every character. Ke and his personality is very relatable. Hai. So I honestly felt that it's a dream role and I'm, I'm very excited that I got to play my uncle. And the cast also, we see that it is so, so uh, diverse, right? From uh, Mithun Da um, uh, to uh, other people who are actually supporting it. And Mithun Da says that it's his uh, digital debut. So how was working with all this uh, great team? Actually, Mithunda doesn't even know whether it's his digital debut or not because he's like, I have done so many films so many films If you say that, then it's my debut hai. Because he's such a chiller of a person He's amazing, he's, he's a people's person 
working with him was you know almost like a school because i used to watch him how realistic he is in his performances even though he's been a part of an era which was all about dishub dishub and you know right. i am a dancer and all of that but as an actor you see his craft that wow he he could perform it so realistically he didn't go over the top at all and uh, uh, just to be around him was super fun he was always you know kisi ki tang khinch rahe the ya kisi ko compliment kar rahe the ya you know uh, he's he's a lot of fun to work with i just loved it it's like a dream come true for me right so a uh, bestseller is kind of you know uh, we we looking at it as the psychological thriller you know something that will uh, set an example for upcoming movies of that uh, genre uh, what do you think about that whole equation that we are going to see in this web series yeah i think bestseller is one of its kind i don't think uh, there's been a uh, you know show like this which is like the perfect balance of you know high end glossy visuals you know but with a very relatable story and realistic performances i think bestseller uh, definitely is going to be something that a lot of people are going to talk about and 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 love to watch i think the audience is going to love it what kind of uh, reactions can we expect from the audience all right uh, since it's a psychological thriller will it be that nail biting uh, element over there or Will there be a dark side? What can the audience expect? It is a dark, twisted, um, crazy, complicated, um, contradictory uh, plot. So you can expect a lot of shocks. You can expect a lot of surprises. You can expect a lot of twists and turns. Uh, but I tell you, the way it has been executed, it's very simplistic. It's not like people are going to be like, "Arey, ye kya hua?" You know. it's all okay. self explanatory and that's why audiences will get fall in it more gohar recently we we seen you uh, becoming a part of uh, such multiple projects uh, you know short films and web series where you are playing some exciting roles uh, not just the girl next door i mean uh, there's a variety there's a depth to the characters that you are playing so how do you pick your characters i think i'm just being a uh, uh, they're getting fortunate now that finally people are you know giving me those kind of roles where they know ke ha agar ek achhi actor chahiye to let's approach gaur khan to mere liye hamesha se hi always uh, that's been my endeavor to prove my talent to a level where people can bag bank on me and people can give give that role to me saying that this is made for you like this is something that you can carry off and that's exactly what's happening right now so alhamdulillah from my base being formed i think with films like rocket singh begum jaan ishq zade um uh, you know game and all those kind of films that i have done i think i have set my base right um right. the kind of projects i was associated with with zangura being you know one of the biggest live shows ever and me having performed in it for over 1200 shows so I think all that credit goes eventually uh, gets fruitful, and thankfully now that's what's happening. So when projects like Tandav or projects like uh, you know Sorry Bhai Saab, which is like a short film but gets so much appreciated, so I think those kind of challenges and those kind of opportunities that have come my way have enabled me to be in a position where now uh, people will you know give me that that okay this is on your shoulder. Right. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm very happy that uh, filmmakers and project uh, heads are finding that uh, that potential in me, and I'm very happy about that. Your three words to describe bestseller: ah, uh, thrilling, ah, uh, humane, because I think there are a lot of different qualities of you know different human beings that you will see, and I think it's very very relatable. So thrilling, humane, and uh, lots of adjectives. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can push to five. I think. Oh, what else can I give it? Which is absolutely perfect for it. Uh, uh, mysterious. Yeah, it is mysterious. Uh, which element did you uh, were you a part of? Uh, like we can see that uh, the story revolves around Tahir and uh, his big fan uh, writing the book, he creating the story over there. Which element exactly, out of the three that you mentioned, were you a part of in the whole uh, series? I am a part of everything. Uh, my uncle is, uh, of course, Tahir's wife, but she's not only his wife. She's also shown as this 
uh, head of you know an advertising firm and how she is so different in her personal life and her professional life and what actually happens in her professional life that is kind of getting connected to what's happening in Tahir's life so uh, Mayanka is actually everywhere it's not a single episode that's without Mayanka great so um, we see that when we even watch the uh, trailer we realize that somehow while this novelist is trying to come up with the next plot uh, to his book the lines between reality and you know fiction uh, gets blurred is that relatable to you on any part not really i try and keep my work and my personal life completely different so i don't try and uh, cross those lines because then that that is going to get too 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 complicated uh, but yeah i guess in a writer's life uh, you are living it you're living what you're writing right so it it, it becomes your work kind of getting you know entangled between your personal life as well and i think writers need a lot of space right to write they need a lot of breathing space so somewhere their personal lives also suffer otherwise they don't get the kind of support that they need so yeah i think i don't relate to that at all because i i love to disconnect from my work when i have to right so uh, are you a reader by the way in personal life no <laughs> no Is that something that movies do to you? That this industry does to people? Not really. I think I've been in a, such a fast-paced life. Uh, oh. I'm on this journey where I've had to do something every single day of my life. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I've never really found the time or inclination to uh, read books. Right. And what does Z do? Is he also into books, or you guys uh, just enjoy the happening visual life? Yeah, we're just into travel. We love traveling. That's our education. <laughs> Perfect. So um, I think now we'll quickly enter into a fun rapid fire round. Uh, go ahead. Uh, so are you ready for it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, number one. One thing that you will never do. Ah, uh, be unfair. I think being fair is a big uh, problem in my life. Like I just cannot be unfair. Okay. What makes you annoyed? Annoyed. Yeah. Uh, uh, someone being. impolite to someone else it's just i get damn irritated are you a morning or a night person i'm a morning person like 6 o'clock no 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 i just enjoy waking up early and i i don't like late nights too much i like to sleep when i have to sleep right uh your best childhood memory my best childhood memory i think my time with my family not i can't pinpoint to one single memory but Anything to do with my dad right now has become my favorite memory because I lost my dad last year. So, um, yeah, everything, everything about my family. Do you always wear a seat belt? Always. Truthfully, okay. Always. I'm always uh, troublesome to the people who don't wear it. Also, they find me damn irritating. But I just like wear a seat belt. <laughs> right. At what age do you want to retire? I don't actually want to retire because I feel like I'm such a workaholic. I I I'd probably slow down the pace in my life of mama first <laughs> but uh, I'll always want to work yeah perfect uh, describe yourself in three words and she lives I think those are the three words I can go on because I want to live forever I want my work to you know live forever inhale my work inhale all the happiness inhale all the uh, mercies that I have from god above and i just want to like live to the fullest you know so uh, god do you like pets i love pets yeah you have any yeah i have a cat i have a snow nice uh, do you snore when i'm extremely tired yes <laughs> all right uh, the last time you cried i cry very often i cry at the smallest of things i i think i cry these days often for when i think of father mhm mm Okay, and um, your dream car? My dream car was the one that I own. Actually, it is an Audi limited edition. Uh, I didn't think that I would ever be able to afford even a car worth five lakhs when I was growing up, and I always knew that I wanted to live the life that I wanted to, and I want the life that I dreamed of. And 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 the day I went and took the position possession of that car. Of course, before that, also I had many luxury cars. I had the BMW X1. I had, you know, the Hyundai Elantra when it had just been introduced many years ago. Um, I always wanted to live the good life, but the day I took the possession of my Q7, I was just 
I was just crying all day long because I mean it's just that small girl's dream you know where you believe it so I think I think I'm already driving my dream car wow your take on this times um, big boss winner anybody who who gets out there right till the end um, obviously is deserving of the place that they are at but if you ask me about somebody who truly truly lived the show truly gave his 1000% to the show and somebody who was absolutely honest to being a part of big boss the actual format of the show it was pratik sahaj pal and i i i i think he's my winner perfect all right uh, thank you so much gohar it's time to wrap up uh, i wish you all the best for best ever thank you so much bye bye thank you bye